Are you having issues getting your Ring doorbell to connect to your Wi-Fi? Don't worry, we've got your back. Stick around till the end and make sure to check out all the steps that I mentioned in this video as either one could prove to be the fix to get your Ring doorbell back in action. This might be a bit blatant and obvious, but your Ring doorbell needs to be in the coverage of your Wi-Fi to connect to your home network properly. So try moving your router as close to your doorbell as possible. The goal should be to have the least amount of obstacles between your router and your doorbell. You could also consider getting yourself a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network if your router supports it. If this is your first time setting up a ring doorbell with your Wi-Fi, there are a few things that you need to consider. Especially if your Wi-Fi supports multiband, aka both the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. The Doble Plus and the Doble Elite are the only ring doorbell devices that support a 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. But even still, I would recommend that you stick to a traditional 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network since it offers better coverage and sufficient enough speeds for the operations of your ring doorbells. If you're sure that your ring doorbell is in range of your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal, the next thing that you need to take a look at is the app permission list from your ring app. But before that, let me take you through the procedure as to how your Ring Doorbell connects with your Wi-Fi. During setup, Ring Doorbells first emit a Wi-Fi for your phone to connect to specifically for gathering the list of Wi-Fi networks recognized by your phone in its proximity. You can select your home network from the list and your Doorbell saves the network information and disconnects this temporary network. After successful pairing, your Doorbell connects specifically to the saved home network every time it's in range. But if you skip the permissions dialog during this setup, you will most definitely face issues connecting your Ring doorbell to your Wi-Fi. Now, if you're on later versions of Android or iOS on your phone, your Ring doorbell can get the list of networks using the Bluetooth and nearby devices permissions. But that isn't applicable for all cases. So, what's the best way to enable all these permissions? I recommend that you simply uninstall the Ring app from your phone and install it once again. This ensures that the app cache and settings gets completely cleared off, basically wiping out any bug that might have been restricting you from accessing the app properly. This also refreshes your Ring app's permission dialog, meaning it will ask for all the permission it requires whenever necessary without you having to resort to go to your phone's system settings. Just make sure to not skip the permission dialogs this time. Now, if your Ring doorbell does not connect to your saved Wi-Fi network, even after setting it up properly, this step is for you. You see, the intention here is to connect your Ring doorbell to your saved network. A thing to note is that your Ring doorbell does not access and connect to the same Wi-Fi that you've connected your phone with. The saved network here means that you will need to connect your Ring doorbell to the same network that you used while initially setting up the device. Your Ring doorbell won't be able to connect to any other network and if you've reset your router or changed its Wi-Fi password, this network information of your home network gets changed. So, if you want to change the saved Wi-Fi network of your Ring doorbell, head over to the Device tab on your Ring app and select your doorbell from the list of devices. Then, select Device Health. Now, navigate to the Change Network tile and follow the on-screen steps to change the network. If you can't connect to your Wi-Fi for some reason, then you might want to consider power cycling your internet router. By power cycling the router, you get to refresh its system internals and with that, you get a refreshed Wi-Fi signal as well. All you need to do is unplug your router from its power source and plug it back in after a minute. If connection issues are still present, I recommend that you disconnect all currently connected devices to your router, especially your hardwired Ethernet connections. I've noticed that wired Ethernet connections from my router often make it harder for my router to establish newer wireless connections. But this is a one-time thing just for the initial connection. So once you get your Ring doorbell connected once again to your Wi-Fi, you can plug in your Ethernet connections and everything should work as intended. If none of the fixes that I've mentioned so far seems to work for you, you might want to consider performing a factory reset on your Ring doorbell. 
In performing a factory reset, you get to revert all the system settings and user-made configurations of your doble and remove any bugs and errors that might have cropped up over its prolonged use. To perform a factory reset on your ring doble, unscrew and remove its back panel to reveal its orange reset button. Press and hold this button to initiate the reset process. Wait for the reset to complete, set up your device like new and your ring doble should connect to your Wi-Fi with little hassle. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a ring doble that refuses to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting ring content like this.